Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to my midweek blogs. Had a week off last week after Christmas. Some downtime with Mrs. Wellsman, which was always good to do. So it's great to be back with you. And obviously things have all changed again. And just when we think our plans are in place, <laughs> we have this new variant of um, COVID, which has meant that we've all found ourselves back in lockdown. And primary to that is that we all stay safe. And um, Next Monday in Midhurst, our vaccination starts. So for those of you out there who are shielding and are vulnerable, that's good news. So vaccine, a couple of weeks, and then hopefully some form of immunity. But we're in this lockdown now, probably for quite a period of time, probably middle to late February before we see any real change, I think. So what does that mean for us? Well, strangely, and you may feel it strange, the government have allowed us to continue with public worship. and. And as I'm allowed to do that, that's what I will do. Selham has, has closed and it's a very difficult church to do social distancing in. But our other two churches, St Peter's and St Mary's, are OK. And we had a, a midweek communion this morning. There was 15 of us. We were all more than two metres apart. Everyone hand sanitised. Everybody wore masks. And after the service, the wardens and I did a risk assessment again and we felt that it was safe. But it's really important to say, if you feel uncertain, don't come. If you've got COVID symptoms, don't come. If you've been asked to shield by the government, don't come. Just because it's there doesn't mean to say that you need to be there yourself. And in lots of ways, as your priest, even if it was me on my own, I would do it for you. I will break bread at the heart of our community because that is my commitment to you. So services continue on a Wednesday and on a Sunday for those who feel that that's what they want to do. And I've got to really stress for people who are living on their own, sometimes this is the only contact they have with others. So whatever you feel about it, and there's lots of politics about it, lots of people have got opinions about it. For me, as your priest, I will continue to do it as long as I am able to. We're also recording the Wednesday service to publish on the Sunday morning. So you can still watch the service that has been recorded and my blogs will be up every week um, for information and to encourage you. Also, all the services still exist on the Darson website and on the Church of England website. And if you want to find where they are, you go to our website, www.thepriorychurches.co.uk and you'll see the symbol for the Church of England and the symbol for the Diocese of Church. You click on that and you go to their website. So there's material there, there's my material. The other thing which I want to offer, which I've not offered before, and it's a new thing, is that on a Wednesday evening at five o'clock and on a Sunday evening at five o'clock, I want to do um, evening prayer by Zoom. I've not done it before. And if you want to be part of that, and this will be particularly important for people that would normally come to church, but at the moment are choosing not to, then what you need to do is you need to let me know either by phoning me or by emailing me at derek.wellsman at outlook.com. And then I will send you the Zoom link. And then what we will do, I'll publish the, the, the liturgy. I'll ask that you have a Bible for the psalm and then we will just for half an hour on Wednesday and Sunday, do evening prayer together. I think that would be lovely. I'd like to do that with you. So let's give it a go. Let's see how it works. I um, At least uh, can I have a few of you to volunteer to do that? That would be great. The other thing which I need to ask you to do is that next week we were hoping to have our APCM. We, we, we've started our new one church, um, but we haven't got a PCC yet, which gets elected next week. So we want to do it live, but we can't. And so we're going to do it by Zoom at six o'clock on the 14th. Now, I need a few of you just to volunteer to come into that so that we can stick our hands up and vote. Otherwise, it's like turkeys voting for Christmas, isn't it? So if you were able to do that again, would you email me um, derek.wellsman at outlook.com or phone me and we will send you the Zoom link for that annual meeting. Lots of information to take in. The bulletins will start to come out again from this coming Sunday. Um, and really, we're back to that thing about looking after each other, about caring for each other and showing an expression of that love that gathers us on a Sunday in the way that we look after each other now. We need to pray for 
the vaccine rollout, that that really has the impact that we need. And as I say, that starts next Monday morning in the South Down Centre, which is um, by the Indian in, in Mida. So if you've been called for that, then prayers for you. And um, uh, hopefully by, uh, I think I'm level eight, 50, 55 plus, I'm level eight. So somewhere you're going to be one of the levels. <laughs> So it'll probably be about uh, May or June by the time I get mine. But um, that's that's really good news. So we've got a balance of good news and, and not so not so easy. Um, I want you to phone me if you need me. And I really mean that. Don't think, oh, he's too busy. I'm not. I'm not too busy for you. And if I am too busy, then I will come back to you. So it's really important. But to stay safe and and to make sure that we all make it out of this is really, really important. Any problems? Any concerns, give me a ring. If you're concerned about us having services, all those sorts of things, I can explain to you everything about it. But as I say, only come if you feel that it's something that you really, really want to do. So I want to bless you today. In this epiphany season, when uh, the wise men came, the magi came to see this remarkable thing that was happening, this child that was being born who would transform our world. I want you to dwell in that blessing that comes through Christ, the blessing that speaks of hope, that speaks of love, that speaks of joy and peace and all the things of God into our lives. I want that blessing to be yours today. So let's just take a moment. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Missing you all. Look after yourselves and we'll speak again soon. Please let me know if you want to come into my Zoom evening prayers, either on a Sunday or on a Wednesday. We can do both. I really don't mind. Just look forward to seeing you. Thanks, everybody. God bless.